So the sturgeon are finally here. Let's check them out, baby. Oh my god. Hey oh, what is going on, Aqua Beast? Welcome back to another one. Today is a huge day, isn't it? Yes, big, sir, it is. Big, big day, day today. Big day. Anyway, I uh we've ordered some fish. We're talking six different fish. Um and uh we're going to the airport right now to pick them up. This has been in the works for a couple weeks. He's getting two, I'm getting two, and we're dropping two off at the fish store. Uh, super rare fish, and actually by the thumbnail, you probably know, we are getting sturgeon. Now, a rare type of sturgeon here. We're talking high white diamonds, which is like, which is like kind of the pinnacle of sturgeons. Uh, they normally sell for a bunch of money. We got them on sale. We're getting them uh, from a King Caviar on Instagram. Uh, awesome dude. Uh, I want to say it's like the Pastiu family uh, sturgeon breeders. And uh, he, he did an awesome sale where you had to buy six sturgeons, so that's what we did. Uh, and I got a Siberian and one high white. He got two high whites, and then the fish store got two high whites. Anyway, let's just let you guys see them in person. They're freaking amazing. They'll get huge. They're cold water monsters. We'll get to that later. Let's whip the Beastie Mobile, go pick up. I've never been to the airport to pick up fish. This is going to be wild. Stay tuned. Let's have a good one. All right, we have whipped it over to the airport and uh, Jared did some fire research, you know, track this number. We think we figured it out. We got Southwest on the uh, the window over here, which is what it was flying, right? Yes, sir. So uh, we're gonna walk in there, see if this is it. Once again, up. we have no clue what we're doing, but we, all we know is there's some sweet fish in Cincinnati now. We'll catch you in a second. All right, so we got the truck with hopefully the fish pulling up right oh, that's, now. That's, that's the Sturgis for sure. That's gotta be the boys. That's them. All right, let's all... Uh, Let's hope everything's alive and everything's well. Let's go check it out. Should be good. We've never done this, so I was like, I'm assuming this is the right place. Yeah, 526. Yeah, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Gotcha. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. So the sturgeon are finally here. Let's check them out, baby. Woo! It'd be too heavy. That's, I don't know. All right. Woo! Open. But he wants to open the fish. You don't think so? Say what happens. I'm, I'm here. The moment of truth. Make sure everything's still alive and good before we uh, hit the road. But we're just going to pee. Oh my gosh. Everybody oh my looks gosh. like they're doing great. Those things look on. Real. So cool. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go get these sturgeons over to the fish store, drop off two of them, and then bring them home, baby. Stay tuned. All right, we just dropped off two at the fish store. World of Pets, awesome place, awesome owner. If you're in Kentucky, Cincinnati area, go check it out. Um, super awesome dude, and uh, he helped us out with getting two of those sturgeons so we get the deal. Let's go sure. get ours back home, baby. Let's go. got the Siberian and the high white diamond sturgeons back at the house and uh, we're gonna go acclimate them they need cold water make sure the water's there and then we're gonna actually drip them a little bit too just to adjust the salinity and pH and stuff and we'll get these guys in stay tuned headed down to the cave in this 55 gallon it's got no heater temperatures are cool two filters I'll get into that a little later but check these guys out in the light they are so cool. They're almost like, they're like stingray mouths with a fish on them. Such cool animals. All right, we're gonna make sure, we're gonna get Jared his two, mine and my two, and then we're gonna acclimate. Wait, dude, he gave us an extra one. It turns out he gave us an extra one. What an awesome dude. Wow. So I got a bonus one, but look how amazing these sturgeon are. They are incredible. I don't know if you can see them through the bag. They're incredible. These high white diamonds are literally like the pinnacle of sturgeon. Um, oh my gosh. Let's get them in the tank. Oh my gosh, it's been chaos. Um, but they are acclimating right now. I think I'll probably just do 20 minutes of acclimation. The water temperature was honestly already pretty similar. Um, but Jared just left bringing, getting his in his tank. We'll keep you updated on his. And then um, awesome, uh, awesome that Bill took his. Big shout out to him. But anyway, I'm gonna do a little more scaping down here um, and make sure everything's perfect for him. 
We're gonna let him acclimate him, get him in. These are amazing. Hopefully everything goes smooth. Wee mama. I've got the tank looking how I want it. I added a couple jungle valve, which I believe do good in cold water. An aerator, because these guys need plenty of oxygen. And then I got some driftwood. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a simple skate, bunch of room to, um, for them to swim. I am just so excited. These guys are so cool. I, um, they've been acclimating for 20 plus minutes. Now I'm gonna open the bag and just do little scoops for about five to 10 minutes. And um, that'll acclimate them to my water chemistry a little better. And then we're gonna get these guys in. I'm kind of in a rush and since they've had a long day. So uh, stay tuned, this is gonna be incredible. All right, so they've acclimated for like 25 minutes and then I filled some my water in there for 10 minutes. They should be ready to rock. These are cold water species, so no heater on this. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and lift them right in, get my hand wet so I don't mess with the slime coat. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and lift these guys in. Here we go. First off is the Siberian. This is other, oh, different than the other two. Here we go. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Here he goes. First one in. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so awesome. All right, we're gonna waste no time, get the other ones in. Now these are the high whites, and I was gifted one extra. I thought I was getting two, but I actually got three. There he goes, that's a high white diamond. And then lastly, it's my favorite looking one. This guy is gorgeous. Their colors will even get better as they're in the tank a little longer. Check him out. Ooh, there he goes. Oh my gosh. How cool is that? Sturgeon are incredible creatures and fish. Check these guys out in the tank. All right, so right here is the first black diamond. Um, he's a little bit darker, less white. And then that's the other white diamond. He's very white. He's going to be incredible. As they get bigger, those white colors only get more amazing. And then right here you have the Siberian, who's just all gray with a little bit longer of a nose. Um, but yeah, right now these guys have literally been in the tank just a couple minutes. So they're just getting used to it. So getting used to the water, the temperature, um, just, you know, everything new about the tank swimming around, cruising. Hopefully they're doing good. To me, it seems like everything's going just fine right now. Um, I've got, a, um, they need a lot of aeration. So I got this big filter over here and then I got another little filter and then I've got the aerator right in the middle. Um, and I don't have the water super high, um, so it splashes quite a bit, but um, these guys are just incredible. Um, big shout out to King Caviar. What an awesome guy sending me the extra white diamond, high white diamond, may I add, not just a diamond st uh, sturgeon. Um, but yeah, these guys are amazing. I'm gonna tell you more about sturgeon and more about what I did to hopefully make sure that these guys do great in my tank. Um, as soon as I get back to you in a day or so to see how these guys are doing. Hey, Oahu Beasts, I am the worst. Uh, of course I did not film one to two days later. It is a whole year later, as maybe you can tell, I might look a little different. But anyway, it is a whole year later after getting the sturgeon, um, and this is kind of a bittersweet moment. Unfortunately, about a couple weeks in, I lost the Siberian, and I honestly have no clue why, because the other sturgeon were doing great, and uh, they were in this 55, and they grow fast, as I expected, but not, I didn't expect them to grow as fast as they did. I knew they'd grow fast, but Anyway, so I lost the Siberian, which was super sad. Um, not sure why, honestly, because others were doing great. And then I upgraded them to 120 gallon and went to school. And then fortunately, uh, when I got back from school, uh, the high white died, um, which was weird. He got skinny. The other one was kind of out um, eating him and he just wasn't eating right. Um, and so, yeah, it, it was super sad too. So unfortunately I lost two of the sturgeon, um, but I don't want to focus on that too much because I do have a monster over here who's been doing great um as sad as it is to lose the other ones uh it's really frustrating but i want to focus on the fact that this other sturgeon is doing awesome and it was the very pretty high white um that survived but anyway look how big this guy got in one year oh my gosh isn't that just a beautiful fish so he went from a 55 gallon down here which is four foot by a foot to four foot by two feet. Um, so it's a much bigger tank and it's much taller too. Anyway though, as you can see, he has plenty of swimming room still in here, but yet he's outgrowing this tank. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, he's gotten massive. I mean, they're so big now. Uh, well, he's so big now. Um, but yeah, when I got him, he fit in my hand. But anyway, he's incredible. Um, the exciting news is 
is I have a pond that I'm building. So he will get his upgrade. And this pond is a build's been in the works for about a year. So stay tuned, future videos, subscribe right now to see the pond build. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and he's gonna be so cool in there as I spooked him on accident. But um, I do wanna give you a few tips about sturgeon. So actually I, I wanna say this quick because so that the lights are on. Um, I didn't know, but sturgeon actually have pretty sensitive eyes probably cause they're normally in deeper cold water. So I really never put the lights on for him um, be, to protect his eyes. So normally those are not on. I just, for video purposes, they're on. Um, they are a little bit finicky as in they're not the best swimmers, I'd say. Um, they'll get stuck in stuff and they struggle to get out. Um, one thing I learned, you know, they always did okay. I just sometimes would take things out of the tank. Like, as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, he's got plenty of swimming room and he's not going to budge into too much stuff. Um, you know, I already mentioned about the aeration, which is key. You can see I got the bubbler in there. Um, cold water, oxygen, oxygenated. That's why they like cold water, essentially. Colder water has more oxygen than warmer water. Um, so make sure they have plenty of oxygen and they, they're in a place where the tank's gonna stay cold. So I'm in the basement right now. This water is much colder than my other tanks. Um, and make sure you feed them often because unlike other fish where you might feed large meals, these guys need to be fed daily because they're always swimming and burning uh, their metabolism. So that's one thing. I feed pellets, I also feed them uh, shrimp and um, tilapia sometimes. So he gets a nice little diet. But anyway, and he's just grown so fast, but such a cool ancient uh, historic fish. Um, and you know, that's the other thing I'll recommend too is they grow super fast, almost like Paku red tail rate. So if you get one, make sure you got upgrades. I think maybe part of the problem down here so I was only expecting two sturgeon and I got three. And I think as they grew, that tank couldn't quite handle all three of them. I think that might've been part of the Siberian um, problem. But anyway, he will get his upgrade soon, which is super exciting. So stay tuned, subscribe for that. And then also Jared's two sturgeon are doing terrific. So I'm gonna shoot you over a little update to see uh, Jared sturgeon and uh, I'll come say goodbye after. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jared, RJ asked me to make a little video to give an update on my sturgeon. So, here we are. They're getting, they're getting to be pretty big now. It's starting to get to the point where they're gonna need the new home soon. But man, they are some beautiful fish. They just look so good. These are the high white diamond sturgeon. I'm gonna give them a little snack. Got a bunch of food. some grub for you guys they're very cool to watch eat too you can see their gills flaring oh this is happening okay let's watch them get this snack they're such a pretty fish so cool looking the way we got them was just so memorable how we just went and picked them up from the airport never done that experience before so very thankful to have these guys. I'm glad they're doing well. Anyway, that's the update. Jared's are doing awesome. They might eventually end up in my pond. But anyway, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, I hope you guys learned something about sturgeon. Like I said, they're awesome fish. If you, if you got the right space for them, great fish to get. Um, but anyway, subscribe, like, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. It is good to be back and posting, baby. I'll see you soon. Dude. The, the boys really cool experiments never done that never done that experience before